Now let's head to Myanmar where protests are intensifying across the country following last week's coup which ousted the de facto leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Over the weekend more internet outages and now the country's military generals have issued a stern warning. Let's head over now to Matthew here in the cube for more. Matthew. Well, Per, as you said there, more than one week after that military coup in Myanmar and no signs that either the demonstrators or indeed the military are stepping down from this position in the dispute about who is the legal government in the country of Myanmar. You see, it was back in November that Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy won a November election by a landslide victory, something that the military say was undermined by election fraud. This despite the fact that the commission in the country have found no evidence to support this. But the military have repeatedly said that after the state of emergency is lifted, they will invite free and fair elections. But at the same time, this has led to nationwide demonstrations against the Myanmar military coup taking place in the country. And a lot of the situation on the ground has remained very difficult to ascertain, largely because in Myanmar there have been multiple nationwide internet outages. The first of those were noted back in the coup last weekend, but as you can see here, according to Netblocks, on Saturday once again, internet connectivity was cut to around 14% of ordinary levels before this was restored. But what is the effect of this? Well, for now we can speak to Phil Robertson, who is the Deputy Asia Director for Human Rights Watch, and he joins us now from Bangkok. Thank you very much for taking time to speak to us here on Euronews. Could you just tell us what your reaction is to these latest demonstrations and to that stern warning issued by the military generals? Well, these protests today that we saw in Yangon and, in fact, across the country uh, were uh, huge. I mean, they were significant and uh, much larger than most people anticipated. Uh, at the end of the day, that we had the uh, commander-in-chief, Min Ong Lai, come out and give stern warnings, uh, saying that they were going to pursue uh, charges uh, according to the law. I mean, this is pretty rich coming from uh, a military coup that basically has flaunted democracy and rule of law by staging an illegal military coup. Um, it's quite clear that uh, uh, it is a non-unconstitutional coup. Uh, it is based on the back of the military, and the people of Myanmar are having uh, nothing to do with it. And uh, what we've seen now, you know, with the internet back on, uh, is again the amazing uh, mobilization. Uh, that has taken place amongst the people of uh, Myanmar, uh, saying very clearly that uh, they want the people that they voted for uh, in power. We've seen, as you say, popular social media platforms like Facebook being cut, access being dropped to the internet. What sort of effect does this have on Myanmar's citizens? Well, I think what we've seen is people trying to uh, figure out workarounds. Uh, so there has been use of uh, other SIM cards from other countries to get around it. Uh, of course, there was originally the use of the VPNs to get around the block on Facebook, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we've seen a massive number of people uh, moving from Facebook onto Twitter, uh, really something that's unprecedented uh, because Twitter really had very little following in the country previously. Uh, so, I mean, I think you have a very adaptable uh, group of people, people who are, uh, you know, learning very quickly from other protests in the region from uh, Hong Kong, from Thailand, you know, and lessons are being uh, shared uh, about how to organize protests, how to uh, protect digital security, uh, how to work around uh, blockages of these sorts. I mean, all these things, I think, are uh, coming to the people of Myanmar. And they've already said that they are proud members of the, the, the hashtag Milk Tea Alliance. Phil Robertson from Human Rights Watch, thank you very much. I'm afraid that's all we have time for. But Per, there, as you can see, protests continuing in Myanmar and the European Union figures and representatives from the United Kingdom as well calling for a UN Security Council meeting now to be held.